Hello, <coughs> whoa, great start. Hello, my fellow mermaids, and thank you for tuning in. If you're new to our channel, hello, my name is Kelty. I'm gonna bring you on your first spin class. Well, not actually, but what you can expect at a spin class. A little background about me. I do the fitness thing. I used to be a university basketball player. Since that ended, I've dabbled in all different forms of fitness. I just love working out. I'm not a yogi. I'm not a weightlifter. I'm just every day like to do new things and mix it up. And so I try a bunch of different classes different forms of fitness and just stay active. I still play rec basketball, but that doesn't really count anymore. A while ago, I did an intro to the kickboxing class I did, and you guys seem to really like it, so I'm going to be doing a few more of those ones. I do spin classes quite often, especially at a studio here in Edmonton called YG Cycle. If you're from Edmonton, go. It's awesome. Just kind of behind the scenes, so if you've never gone to a spin class, this is what you can expect. Also, some just tips and tricks. That way, the first time you go, you're not just like, what do I do with my hands? You're like, I've already practically gone gone because me and Kelty showed me the rope. So we're going to spin class together right now. Well, not right now in a few minutes, but let's do this. Okay, so what is a spin class? So usually a spin class is about an hour. A lot of the times you'll see them about 15 minutes with a five minute stretch at the end. That's pretty typical. Most spin classes are set up with just different tracks. So each track is going to have some kind of sequence to it. So the first song is going to come on. It's going to be kind of more of a warm up. You might do some stretching with your arms all while seated. The entire time you're seated on a bike. Some are a bit slow and you're gonna have heavy resistance and you try and keep up to the beat. Some will be faster and you'll be able to do a bit more sprints, so less resistance, and some will be hit tracks, a mesh of sprints, high resistance, and all of that. The thing about a spin class is it's all what you put in. So there's gonna be a little knob you turn, that you turn, and that increase your resistance and not. And depending on the studio, there's different places. Usually in the old school spin bikes, it's just a little knob there. Some have a little electronic thing you can see. Yes, you can kind of cheat it. Anyway, resistance real low, I'm like, I'm working so hard. And then you leave with no sweat. If you're scared in your mind, you just wanna see what it's like, but yeah, you can have the resistance real low. No one will know, except when you leave and you have no sweat. Or on the flip side, you can make it like super hard workout, crank that resistance, go 110%, and then be sweating buckets. So let's talk about what to wear to a spin class. My personal favorite, I'm gonna tell you specifics and then general recommendations. First of all, I'm gonna recommend pants instead of shorts. The reason you actually wouldn't wanna wear shorts, even though it's gonna be really hot, is then it's gonna be skin on skin against the actual seat. And so that's why I recommend pants because then your legs can glide against the pants and it won't have any chafing. Chaffing, chafing. I've heard I pronounce it wrong, whatever. Had a tomato, tomato potato spending. That is my recommendation. I also recommend high-waisted. The reason being, you're gonna be bent over for a lot of it, and the last thing you want is to flash the person behind you. So high-waisted, breathable, sweat-wicking leggings are your best friends. Now my personal favorite for spin are from Lululemon and either the high-waisted Luxstream or the high-waisted Everlux material. Both are perfect for spin class. They're gonna be able to stretch, they're thin, so they're gonna be breathable, they're sweat wicking, and they kind of have a smooth sensation versus in a cottony, which, oh, is this, they're attached to my nail, that's great. Cotton more, so leggings are gonna show a lot more sweat and they're gonna pill. These are meant to rub together, so that is my recommendation. As for shoes, we'll have shoes that are specific for the bikes that can clip in, and so those are for rent. So bring your own socks, bring clean socks, that is always nice. For on the top, this is a personal preference, this is what I'm gonna recommend, just a sports bra. You're gonna sweat so much, it is really hot in there. You don't wanna be weighed down by material, like big baggy things. You want tight so it doesn't get caught up and because it is tight on your bike. So I do recommend just a sports bra, a very supportive sports bra, because you will be bouncing up and down. I love the energy bra from Lululemon in Luxstream, that's my personal favorite. I do have other videos that go more depth to more supportive and less supportive bras depending on your cup size, but I'm a BC and this bra does me wonder. So supportive sports bra that's sweat wicking. And the black and black just makes you look BA as can be, so biker game, hello. I know some people are not comfortable in wearing a, just a sports bra to the gym and I have two things to say about that other option. Of course, they're on a tank top. I would not recommend a long sleeve because you'll be sweating like crazy, but there's a cool thing about spin is this, that I think everyone should challenge themselves to just wear a sports bra to the gym and be comfortable because you're beautiful and you should embrace it and your body is fit and wonderful and just wear a sports bra. Of course, you, if you don't like that look and you're just like, that's too provocative to, for me, that's fine. I'm not gonna, no pressure. But if you've always looked and you just love that look, embrace it and spin is the perfect time because it is a dark room 
Everyone in there is there to sweat. You kind of get into your own bubble, but in a group atmosphere. It's not a class where you can kind of be like spying on everyone around you. You're kind of in your own zone with the trainer. So I challenge you to wear a sports bra and get more confident and then rock it at the gym and other places. That is a challenge I have for all of you. No pressure, but you're beautiful and you should do it. Yes, you were there. And if you're a dude who doesn't need a sports bra, maybe, yeah, the, maybe not wear the sports bra. <laughs> that is my go-to outfit. Some other tricks of the trade, water bottle. You are going to sweat a lot, stay hydrated before you go. They have a little place that you can put your water bottle on each of your bikes, so make sure you bring that. I love my soil water bottle, because it can fit a whole bottle of wine right in here. Maybe don't drink wine in spin class after mimosas at brunch with your wives. Now I'm going to go to an actual class, show you guys it, have my amazing instructor, Katrina, show you guys, give you guys a bit of rundown, show you the studio, and then also show you back in the class. So this is the setup at YUG Seikal. It's very typical. You'll have your sign-in station right at the front that you'll come in. They love to have motivational quotes. You'll pick your bike ahead of time, so they have those little sticky ones, and then they will have a pair of shoes for you, very similar to bowling they'll give you and these are what they look like they have the velcro so easy on easy off and there's the clips on the bottom is what attaches to the pedal so it just clips in like that you want to velcro yourself right in and here's how you kind of click in it just clicks in like that it's a little comfortable un at first uncomfortable at first but you'll get used to it one foot at a time and then to get out you're just going to twist your heel out to the outside and it's going to pop out just like that so that's how you get in and out now here is what the bike looks like. There's the handlebars, there's the seat. It, yes, it's kind of uncomfortable for some people to start, but your butt will get used to it. But be warned, the first class it might be a little sore. You get used to it over time. And then they will have the change room in lots of them. In YG Cycle, they'll have showers, they'll have changing rooms. Beautiful shower here. So you can do that if you're sweaty and want to go before work so that you know you have that option and you get ready. Tip, it's usually cold in the studio. Get something that you can easily throw off. That's my tip because I usually like to wear it, but you don't want something when you're in the close proximity of other people and you're fidgeting around. They always have good goodies like that. And then, yeah, so that is the change room here at YG Cycle. Now here's Katrina. Now, I'm going to introduce you guys to the spin instructor I love going to the absolute most. I go to her class every Sunday. Well, every Sunday I try to go. <laughs> but whenever I do go, we try to go to Katrina. So here she is. She's going to explain to you what you'll expect at specifically YG Cycle, but this is also a general format for most spin classes. Hi guys, I'm Katrina. In a spin class, is about 50 minutes. About 45 of those minutes, you're working out and then five or stretch. We'll start out with a race. So it's all in the seat for the first song, just to get those legs warmed up. Up. And then from there, we do different songs like climbs and hits. So climb is like heavier tension out of the seat. A hit is up and down out of the seat, and there's intervals, and there's up and down out of the seat as well. And we'll also do something called a climb race, which is heavier tension, and then we drop down into the seat. And then we have a lot of cool movements that we do out of the saddle, which are really fun, like pumps and dips. And we'll go over all of that before we start the class and get you guys comfortable with them before we go. There's also a weights track, so be sure to grab your weights for a weights track. And that's just to kind of work the upper body. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, that sums it up. <laughs> the best part is they do it in like a dark room and there's like lights. And so it's like you're at the nightclub without being hungover and you get a workout in. So Woo! that's really, really the best part. So we're going to go do that right now. Now, before you walk into the studio, you want to make sure to grab a towel. Most places will have that. Notice you can throw your shoes and laundry in those bins right underneath it. Like I said, so many cool little designs. So you walk into the studio, which usually closes once you're in there. So ideally pee before you can leave. It's just kind of disruptive. And look how cool it looks. All those lights go and beat with the music. They have all the different bikes. And yes, they do have a mirror, but be warned, sometimes you can't see yourself in the mirror because it gets really sweaty, especially in certain classes. But they do have fans that your instructor can control. As you can see, the lights are already changing color. Beforehand, you'll want to adjust the seat to make sure it fits you. Otherwise, you can have knee problems. So you'll see there's the ones on the back. You can raise it up and down. You can raise the seat forward and back. You'll probably have no idea how to do this. The instructor should show you the first time. And you'll want to make sure it's comfortable. Your knees aren't too bent, but not too straight. That's good height. And then at the front is where your instructor will be. And the instructor slash DJ 
because they will also control the music, the lights, all that, and this is their station, and this is who you will watch and who will instruct you and tell you what to do. You can pick up weights. There's usually different ones. There's two, threes, and fives. Start light. You'd be surprised. Six minutes of lightweight, uh, lots of reps. It's tough, so you'll want to put your towel there. Hack, you can put the weights right in there so you're not fumbling out to get them, and throw your water bottle in the other water bottle one, and you are ready to start your spin class. Woohoo! Three, three, two, one, bring it up. So always near me here. Right, left, right, left. Oh my god, you guys, look at this look already. So this is a crisscross, hands are nice and light, chest is up, core is on. So this is position four. In position three and four, we will hover. Come right over your seat right here. Take the weight back down. Then at the end, throw away your towel and shoes in the bins, and there's usually areas you can foam roll and stretch at a lot of studios. And that is what you can expect in a spin class. Of course, every studio is a bit different, but this is kind of the direction the new cool ones are going. So it's YG Cycle here in Edmonton. Soul Cycle is a big one in the States, and it's very similar vibes. We don't have Soul Cycle, we got YG Spin, and I love you. And if you don't know what YG stands for, it's the airport code of Edmonton, where I'm from. If you want to try spin classes, a lot offer a one-time trial. You can try for free. So I'd call ahead and see if you can just drop in and see if you like it and it's something you want to continue on to do. Now, who is this workout for? The next thing spin is kind of for anyone of any level. You see professional athletes can do a spin class and someone who's just wanting to get in shape for the first time. It's all about the amount you want to put into it. It is cardio based, but because of HIIT training that has some resistance elements, especially with hills, a lot of them do one track that is weights, as you saw. But it really depends if it's you want a way to increase your cardiovascular, if you want to lose weight, you just want to stay active in a fun way. And why I love it is it's like going to the club without the hangover. 
<laughs> because I can't deal with that anymore. <laughs> Music's going, it's just a fun atmosphere, and honestly, it's a fun way, and that's what I love about fitness classes these days, is they're really fun, and it's not just about a workout and getting yelled at, even though sometimes I do just need to get yelled at at a workout, like, guilty, get your rear in gear. But that is what I do love about swim classes, especially when I do Seiko. Make sure you hydrate before, have a good meal, wear stuff that isn't baggy, is sweat wicking, stretchy, and nothing's gonna pop out of. Have fun, cheer, enjoy the workout, think of it like a workout in the club, mix in one foam roll stretch after and enjoy they are great atmospheres bring a girlfriend go for brunch after and you will love it so if any of you have any other tips or tricks about what to expect at a spin class comment down below let us know if you do have any other specific questions about a spin class I will make sure to answer all the comments unless you're commenting this and it's like five months later nope probably not gonna respond maybe who knows but yeah, probably not if it's within like the first week though I got you and thank you for tuning in. Like always, my fellow mermaids, comment below any other group exercises, types of workouts you would like me to show you as an intro and what you can expect, and I'd be happy to bring that to you. Thank you for tuning in. Like always, my fellow mermaids. If you're new to the channel, feel free to hit subscribe, subscribe. Then I swear I can talk. I'm a YouTuber, Kelsey. You can do this. Hit subscribe and join our mermaid tribe. We'd love to have you. Hope you, yes, you right there, have a fabulous day. I love you all so much.